Thank you for joining us at 3.30 Media, where we're committed to help you think your best, feel your best, and believe your best. If you'd like to be highlighted on this channel, we would love to have you be a part. Stick around and we'll give you all the details on how you can join our network. So thank you so much for joining us again at 3.30 Media, where we're highlighting Betty Leone. Betty is one of my absolute favorite people. She is a phenomenal mother, wife, entrepreneur. She is an interior designer. She has her own business called Tulip Interiors. She is an administrator for Forever Lawn. She just does it all. And one of the things that she does excellently is take very broad topics, very deep, complex things about God, and she has a great way of making them doable. She can take a matter of prayer, which is going to be the series that we present to you starting today um, that Betty has launched and make you go, oh, okay, I can do that. She's using pictures and um, highlighting our senses and very practical ways to just press into God, be blessed by God. Um, and your journey with him. And so I was so inspired to take this information and provide it for you because it's just totally what we're about. Betty's going to help you think, feel, and believe your best. So join us on this journey as Betty helps us pray. Hi, family and friends. It is Wednesday, April 8th, and today we're going to talk and pray about stillness. Stillness, the definition is the absence of movement or sound. You know, our goal is to know God. We know God through Jesus. He sent his son to manifest himself on the earth and become relatable to us. But in essence, right now, Jesus comes to us by the Holy Spirit. So in order to understand God, we come through Jesus, through the Holy Spirit. And that's a spirit. So truly to understand God, we have to have a spirit to spirit connection. That's what stillness is all about. In Psalms 46, God says, be still and know that I am God. If anyone would ask, how do I know God? That's the answer right there. Be still. There's something that happens when we quiet ourselves, we eliminate activity and sound and we just quiet ourselves. We get rid of all distractions, all obstacles, and we just let our spirit communicate with the Holy Spirit without limitation, without understanding, without knowledge. And it's so counterintuitive to us because we are beings that desire understanding and knowledge. But it is something that transcends us because God transcends us. So it is something that we need to practice. We need to be intentional about because it is not something that comes easy. Um, I've heard an example of like our brain is like a fan and it's constantly in motion. And in order to stop a fan, you almost have to put a stick in the blades and stop it. And you could still feel the pressure of the motor behind it, wanting to move it. That is how our brains are. You know, it's a practice that you have to get good at and the only way to get good at it is to continue to do it because it's amazing how demanding our brains are to move, to think. It wants to think. It wants to act. So to sit in quiet, to sit in stillness, to have no brain activity, to try to not have any brain activity. I mean, obviously, we can't do that, but you know what I mean, to kind of sit in silence and just be present so that your spirit and the Holy Spirit can kind of commune is a challenge. But it's so beneficial and it's so beautiful. And it, 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 it provides a knowing that is outside of ourselves. So just wanted to also read uh, Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me by still waters and he restores my soul. There's that word still again. I love the imagery that the Bible pro pro provides. And those images are invitations for us to experience God in new ways. If you think about, he leads me, um, or he makes me lie down in green pastures. I mean, just imagine lying back in a green pasture and all you can hear is silence and all you can see 
is the sun as you look up. It's an opportunity to just gaze and be and have a revelation of God. It's the same thing when it says, I'm going to lay, lay me down beside still waters. Those are invitations for us to come to a place of lying, resting, abiding, being still. So I just want to encourage all of us to find a place in our day where we begin to practice stillness so we can experience God in a new way. I've invited my brother-in-law, Paul, to pray. Hey everybody, this is April, the first month of spring. Springtime is everywhere. Get outside, today is gonna to be 60 degrees. The flowers are coming up, the tulips are in bloom. I can see buds on my tree, and it reminds us of the masterpiece of heaven. There's a painting in heaven that is hung on the walls, and it's the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures, and he leads me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul, he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. That is the most beautiful blessing the Lord can give us through David. It's an opportunity and an invitation to sing praises, sing thanksgiving. Even though our world is a little upside down right now, we bless all the families, all the people and relatives and friends that are going through this tough time. Father, in Jesus' name, just reach out to us and refresh us, restore our soul. Pour into us love, peace, and joy, and fill us up so we overflow to every person that we get to uh, talk to. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I thank you, God, that your ways are not our ways. They're much higher and deeper and wider, and that you ask that we come in faith. Your word says that without faith, it's impossible to please God. We must believe that he is, and he rewards those that diligently seek him. I know abiding and stillness is a challenge, but I believe that it pleases the Father as we come in faith to be with Him and to experience Him in new ways. God bless you. Have a good day. Thank you so much for joining us today at 3.30 Media. If you're interested in being highlighted on our channel, we would absolutely love to connect with you. Just email me at 330live at gmail.com.